Hi everybody, thanks for joining me while I make the best vegan banana bread you will ever try. Seriously, this is so good. I have been making it for years and it's the absolute best. The recipe is already on my blog at vegerarchy.com. I'll leave a link in the description box below and let's just get right into it. So I'm starting by making two flax eggs, which is two tablespoons of ground flax seed and six tablespoons of water. Just give that a stir and we'll set it aside to gel. Next, we're going to mash two very, very ripe bananas. You can see these ones are extremely ripe, which is what you want. They don't have to be this brown, but if they are, that's great. It just makes them sweeter, and that's what we want in this recipe. So we'll just peel those and put them in a bowl to mash. I'm just mashing these with a fork and you want to keep mashing them until they are a liquidy consistency and most of the big lumps are gone. To a bowl, we're going to add two thirds of a cup of sugar. I'm using an organic cane sugar here, but you can also use coconut sugar. I've used that before and it works just fine. Then we're going to use one stick or half a cup of vegan butter and I'm just slicing that into smaller pieces. You can do even smaller than this and it helps mix it together a little easier. So I'm just adding the vegan butter to the sugar and we're going to cream those together with a fork until you have a pretty smooth consistency. Then we're going to add the mashed banana and our flax eggs. I also added a teaspoon of vanilla. You can add this earlier in the process. I just forgot to do it, so I am adding it now. Then we'll move on to our dry ingredients. So I'm using one cup white flour and three fourths of a cup of whole wheat flour. Then I'm adding some baking soda, some baking powder, and some salt. I will leave the full recipe in the description box below. It's on my blog at vegerarchy.com. Then I'm adding the wet ingredients to the dry and I'm just going to give that a really good stir. And we'll just keep mixing this until you have a nice sticky dough and all the flour is incorporated into it. It will be a stiffer dough. Uh, it's not like really runny or anything, but it will be sticky. And then I'm just adding some chocolate chips. You can skip this. It's totally optional, but I highly recommend it. <laughs> Then I will pour that into a bread pan, which I am lining with parchment paper and using these metal clips to hold it. This is a little tip I learned from Martha Stewart. Um, alternatively, you could just grease your baking pan if you don't have parchment paper. And then I'm just adding the dough to the pan. told you this was sticky and then I'm just spreading it out evenly so it will all bake nice and evenly in the oven I'm going to top this with some chopped walnuts I love these walnuts on this banana bread but again it is optional or you could use some other kind of nut like pecans or maybe almonds and I'm also putting some more chocolate chips on top because I love chocolate. If you don't like chocolate, leave me a comment below. I'm curious to see if there is anybody out there who doesn't love chocolate. 
So now it's all ready to go and I'm going to pop that in the oven that I have preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and it's going to bake for 55 minutes. The way you test that it's done is by putting a sharp knife or a toothpick in the middle of it and if it comes out clean, then it's done. This was perfect. The bread does need to cool for a little while, maybe an hour, but once it's done, you can just pop it right out of the pan using that parchment paper, which is why I love that technique. And then it's ready to slice up and eat. Now this was still pretty warm and the chocolate was gooey, but that's okay. I'll just lick it off my fingers. I did go ahead and spread some extra vegan butter on top. I don't usually do this, but for some reason I was compelled to this time and it was really delicious. Seriously guys, this is the best banana bread ever. I've been making it for so long. I have tried other recipes and they just don't compare. So don't forget that I will leave the link in the description box below to the recipe that's on my blog at vegerarchy.com. Remember to like this video, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.